He was not in Vrindavan. So you just start that again. again. Yeah, yeah, start that again. Yeah. Okay, I'll start again. Dukhi Krishna Das was his name because he was so, so anxious to come to Vrindavan. But his Guru Maharaj, who was Hridayananda Maharaj, he would not let him come because his Guru Maharaj didn't see him fit to go to Vrindavan. So for many, many years, he was meditating on Vrindavan. And then finally, his Guru Maharaj said, okay, now you can go to Vrindavan. Now you're fit to go, but you're not fit to stay without shelter. So he asked him to go and report to Jiva Goswami. As we all know, Jiva Goswami is one of the very prominent, you know, Goswamis. And so he came and uh, took shelter of Jiva Goswami. And Jiva Goswami gave him the service to sweep the floor in Nikunjwans, which is today also known as Nidivan. But Nidivan is a place where um, every night it is said that even today, Radha and Krishna come with all the gopis to perform rasa dance. And there are evidences about how every night there is a dance taking place there. So every morning, Dukhi Krishna Das got the service to go and sweep the floor there. So one morning when he arrives there, he sees that the whole, whole Nikunj is very, very bright, effulgent, beyond his conception. And as soon as he sees that effulgence, he faints. Now, normally it is said that even if you see a particle of a dust from the Golok Dam, it is so self-effulgent that it is not possible for our, us as human beings to bear the brightness. So what happens is by Krishna's mystical arrangements, we become unconscious. And then we, when we become conscious, we are given that divya drishti to be able to see what is the reality. So then he sees that there is an anklet. What had happened is the night before in the dance, Radharani's anklet has come off and it, it dropped and she left it there. So now in the morning, Radharani is realizing that my anklet is missing and she tells Lalita Sakhi that, Lalita, you go and get that anklet. I left it on the planet. So Lalita comes as a, disguised as an elderly woman and she comes to uh, Dukhi Krishnadas and says, have you seen an anklet? My daughter, she, she apparently dropped it here yesterday. Now, Dukhi Krishnadas was not an ordinary personality. He has already had a very advanced guru. He was taking shelter of Jiva Goswami and he could immediately understand that this is some great personality. So first he tells her, please show me the other anklet, then I'll give you this anklet. And then there is a dialogue and debate going on and she's saying, well, I don't have the other one. Then he actually begs her to reveal her identity and the identity is revealed. And then he's requesting Lalit Saki said, can you do me one favor? You know, and what is that favor? He wants to meet Radharani. And his good fortune that Lalita was able to take him to, to Golok where Radharani was. And then Radharani welcomes him because Radharani actually wanted to bestow mercy upon him. And it is said that that is, that is why she purposefully left the anklet there. To, perf to have some special lila for Dukhi Krishna Das. And then there is some dialogue and he gets a lot of blessings from Radharani. And then Radharani puts, uh, now Radharani is giving him a name called Shamananda Pandit. And he's, she's telling him that from today, your name will be Shamananda because you're taking so much, rejoicing so much pastimes of Shyam. So she gives him that name and uh, he's, he's requesting her that, Give me some evidence or something so that when I go back, people will believe that I am Shyamananda Pandit. Otherwise, they will not. So Radharani blesses his forehead with her feet. And when she puts her foot on his head, she makes a tilak mark on his head. And then when he comes back, he goes to Jiva Goswami, you know, to explain to or to tell him what had happened. But Jiva Goswami was not an ordinary personality. He was so advanced that as soon as he saw Shyamananda Pandit, he says, welcome back Shyamananda Pandit, you know? So now Shyamananda Pandit also understands that like um, Dukhi Krishna Das uh, understands that Jiva Goswami is so advanced that he could see. Just like Sanjay could see the Mahabharata battle, Jiva Goswami is observing all the pastimes. 
And then uh, his guru finds out, his guru comes back, comes down to Vrindavan also. He doesn't believe. So Shamananda Pandit says that, look, okay, if you can remove this tilak mark, then, then you're right. But if you, if you can't remove this tilak mark, then you should accept that Radharani has blessed us. So Guru orders buckets and buckets of water, not just one uh, glass of water. And every time he puts a bucket of water on his forehead, the tilak seems to disappear. But as soon as the water stops pouring, then the tilak appears again. So in this way, everyone gets to see this uh, pastimes of Shamananda Pandit. His Guru actually accepts it. And he is also feeling so blissful that he has a disciple who is so advanced, so much so that actually Radharani blessed him. So that is Shyamananda Pandit's pastimes. Next time, um, when we meet, I will narrate some pastimes of Narottam Das Thakur when he comes to Vrindavan, how he goes to Govardhan, how he meets Krishna Balaram there, how he's performing Sankirtan, and in his Sankirtan, uh, the Panchatattva, Lord Chaitanya personally appears with his whole party. Although they are all, you know, gone several hundred years back, they have left the planet. But when Narottam Das performs kirtans, they actually appear, you know, and they dance and they lead kirtans also. So that is, I guess, that's um, some enlightenment for the day uh, from Vrindavan Dam. And uh, um, I once again say thank you to Narendra Krishna for organizing this and uh, Nabi Nanan Prabhu for giving all the support and especially for supporting me today in my absence. Actually, <laughs> what, did you, what did you to have Darshan here? We're just uh, celebrating um, Tulsi Viva. Um, wow. so this is, mm -hmm. I don't think you've had Darshan of uh, Sita Ram yet. So yes. you, you know, of course, uh, you, you see Brother, Brother Shyam. Uh, this is the addition to the family. <laughs> um, and again, it's the same context, a concept that we had before. Um, beautiful painting, but it's 3D. And uh, this is done by uh, Kanukriya, one of our trustees. Really amazing, uh, amazing lady. And today is the special occasion. We're celebrating. Uh, Puts Viva where there's going to be, there you go. I don't know, can you see them? Oh, maybe not. Let me just see if I can highlight. Ah, yeah. So, and then we've got. Very yeah. nice. And we've got the best man, Balaram. <laughs> So this is quite a nice uh, effort. The devotees should be coming uh, very soon. And uh, just in case, I think you probably couldn't see Sita uh, Radha Krishna. And there you go. Ram Lakshman, Janaki, and Hanuman is there as well. So, thank you so much. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you so much for Thank you. Thank you. Me. So, we should... Um, when do you suggest we can gather again? Because I think this Sangha from Vandavan is very important. And I don't know, uh, Narendra Prabhu, when do you suggest? Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's uh, give it a little thought, and I thought maybe uh, we try and do once, uh, maybe a month or something like this. We'll have a little look at some dates, make sure everybody's free, uh, and then we can carry on with uh, this Vrindavan uh, um, Sangha. So we feel we are in Vrindavan, and pick up this is in London. <laughs> <laughs> What we could do is fourth, uh, sorry, the third of December in the UK yeah. is Gita Jain. Okay. So we can do fourth on the Saturday, on the Sunday. Uh -huh. uh, maybe Trikal Prabhu can give us a, a session yeah, or a summary of Gita or uh, whatever he likes. Whatever yeah. He likes. Well, that will be 
perfect because if it's Gita Jayanti on the third to start on the fourth uh, day after Gita Jayanti and then uh, carry on uh, yeah. uh, with maybe the Bhagavad Gita uh, narrations uh, or something, what we'll leave it to Trikal Prabhu to decide his nectar for us. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, let me close the recording. Thank you. Yeah, so we much. can do an overview, and then then after that we can do a series if you like. Brilliant. Um, yeah. I, I, it will be related and connected to Prabhupada's pastimes and how Prabhupada, you know, put Bhagavad Gita into practice, and how right. individuals benefited, and how there's so much varieties of examples of how different, you know, um, different sections of the Gita has influenced and changed people's lives. You know. Makes sense. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. 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 Thank you.